Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I want to talk to you about is how do we know when a point is on a line, um, not just looking at the graph, but by the equation. So a couple of definitions that we need to kind of understand again. What, you know, first of all, what exactly is a line? Well, a line is pretty much an infinite set of points that make up, so an infinite set of points make up a line, all right? And obviously they're all going to be in the, um, fall on what we call a linear, or a line is gonna fall on a linear path, right? Um, so the standard form for an equation, or you know, not standard form, but the slope intercept form of a linear equation is y equals mx plus b. So a lot of times what we wanna do is identify, you know, is a point on a line, and sometimes we don't have the graph, right? We just wanna know, all right, based on this equation, are these two points on the equation? Well, remember that um, there's infinite many points, right? So it's possible that both of these points are on the graph. It's also possible that both of these points, you know, are not on the are not on the graph. Okay. So to determine if they are or if they're not, we need to plug them in because they're both they're both coordinate points. That means they both have an x and a y coordinate to them that create the, that create the point. So Notice how here, this is xy, this is xy. And y equals 3x minus 1 represents saying all points that lie on the line are going to make this equation true for any x and y value that are on this graph. So therefore, if I take these points and I plug them into this equation and it makes the equation true, then that point is on the line. So let's give it a shot. Let's test our first point, 2 comma 5. So I have y equals. 3x minus 1. All I'm simply going to do is plug in a 5 for y and plug in a 2 in for x. Then I'm simply just going to evaluate and see if it's true or not. So 5 equals 3 times 2 is 6. 5 equals 5. That's true. So since that's true, that means this point is on the line. So let's look at that graphically to make sure that's correct. So I go over 2 and then up 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Over 2, up 5. I mean, my graph's a little bit off, but yes, you can see it works. Now let's check the point negative 3, negative 5. So I have y equals 3x minus 1. Now I'm going to plug in the points negative 5 in for 3 and uh, negative 5 in for y, I'm sorry, and negative 3 in for x. OK, so negative 5 is equal to 3 times negative 3 is negative 9 minus 1. Negative 5 is equal to negative 10. Well, negative 5 is never going to equal negative 10, so that is false. That means the point negative 3, 5, 1, 2, 3, down 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so like right there, is not on the line. So again, to make sure, or when you know a point is on the line, that means when you can plug, you plug in those values, or the coordinate points x and y, into the equation, it's going to make the equation true. And uh, when it's not on the line, when you plug those points into the equation, it's going to make your equation false. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you determine if a point is on your line or not. Thanks.